Translook was founded to make it easier for people to use Translook. And last month, over 1.2 million riders used Translook on the web, on mobile phones, on an iPhone app, on an Android app, on flash screen monitors at stops. They use Translook to get real-time information about their bus and to access important announcements that will impact their trip. And we, one of the things that we're really proud of is we help put Translook on a more equal footing with the car, right? You know, now you can look online or look on your cell phone and know where that bus is, and you can know where it will go. And this summer, we'll add to those 1.2 million riders, monthly riders, when we launch a regional, real-time passenger information system here in the Triangle. Translate will be providing a real-time map, a textbook <coughs> interface, a mobile interface, an iPhone app, an Android app, a Blackberry app, SMS text messaging access, this summer for Triangle Transit buses, data buses, Chapel Hill Transit, Capital Area Transit, NC State. Now, this has never been done before. <coughs> Taking real-time information from five different transit agencies and putting it all in one place to make it easier for riders has never been done before. And I think it's appropriate that this technology milestone is happening in this technology hotbed of the Triangle. And the folks at Triangle Transit deserve a lot of credit for recognizing this opportunity and, and, and moving forward with it. So we've been working in the past couple of years to make it easier for folks to see where these routes go, access announcements, and get real-time information. And we've been doing that in NC State and other places. Some of you may be familiar with the work we've done at NC State. And if, if you only have 10 routes and, and 30 vehicles, it, it's not that hard to kind of show all that information. You know, that, that's fairly reasonable. But that gets, you know, riders can easily get overwhelmed if you have hundreds of routes and hundreds of buses and thousands <coughs> of stuff. So what I'd like to do today is give you a quick look at what some of this innovation is going to look like that we're going to be delivering this summer to the Triangle. And we use our own experience as transit riders and we also surveyed 15,000 other users and how they interact with our system to improve it and to make it better and to, to uh, enhance it so that you can, you can use it in this, in this way for all these transit agencies. The result is going to be a system that removes distractions and also harnesses the power of search, both physically and textually. So the cornerstone of this innovation will be a new map. And you can see the different routes here in downtown Raleigh. You can see the interleaving routes there, where the different routes overlap. You can see where the, the different stops are with the different routes that are um, that service that stop. You can see the buses here with their heading. You see how the, the background is subdued a little bit, so your eye is naturally drawn to the routes. You see these white areas, which is a coverage map, which shows you that there's a bus route that goes down that road. So these are all things that, that, are, that we're doing to make it easier for folks to access this information. And if we click on, for instance, the Moore Square stop right there in the middle, which, as you know, is one of the busiest stops in the whole triangle you'll see you get a lot of information here. You see all of these different routes, and these are all cat routes here. And you'll see that the agencies that service that stop are listed at the top here. You have cat routes serving it, you have triangle transit routes are serving it. And those, those, those agency names right there are, are used like a browser tab. So you can click on just the cat routes and see just the cat routes, or click on the triangle transit and just see the triangle transit routes. You see your arrival estimations here for when the buses will arrive at that stop. And since Moore Square has so many different routes, you can page through here to see the other routes that service that stop. Now on a stop that doesn't serve quite as many, which is of course the vast majority of, of stops in this area, you'll see that all of the routes are just right there in one place. And you see the, the cat routes there and the triangle transit routes there and when the vehicles are, are scheduled to arrive or estimated to arrive. You also get some SMS information if you want to send a text message to get information about when those vehicles will arrive. Riders can also search for a particular route or stop. 
So you'll see here where, where the, the rider is, is put in a one here. And this searches by stop number, by route number, and by stop location. So down here, these are, this is just demo information here, but um, so you'll see first National Bank pops up here. And you'll see there's 1,245 more. So as you continue typing in here, it will continue to, to, to widow down those options until you get the actual route or stop that you're interested in. And you can then save this information. So you can create a favorites list that whenever you log in will show you the routes that you normally ride or that stop that you normally visit. Now, I'm a map person. Um, and, and David King, the general manager at, at Triangle Transit, once taught me, not everybody is a map person. And that, that was a very good insight. So one of the things that we'll be providing is a textual version of a way to access this real-time information. So you can just plug in your address here, and it will tell you the nearby stops. And even locate it on the map here. So you can get some bearing, and you can see the stops up here. <clears throat> One of the other things that, that, is, that is unique, too, is that you can geolocate your address as well. So if you're somewhat, someplace unfamiliar, or if you don't know the exact address, some browsers will allow you to actually geolocate, which some of you, if you have smartphones, have used that feature with some, some smartphone apps. Once you select the stop, um, you can see all the active routes that service that stop. So here's South First Street and Martin Street. You'll see all these different routes that service that stop and see the arrival predictions of when those vehicles will come. It also tells you if there's an inactive route that's not currently in service but does service that stop. And of course, it also gives you information on how to get SMS text messaging for that as well. If you like, you can also browse by agency. So you can say, you know what, I'm just interested in CAD, or just interested in data, or capital transit. And then you can drill down and, and pick your route if you know the name of the route already. So for instance, Santa Road, and then it gives you a little visual overview of that route. And then you'll also get a stop, a list of all the stops on that route in order. So you can see what's going on with that route and when they will be coming. So the textual-based version is a nice complement to that map-based version for folks who are, who are interested in, in uh, who, are, who are not map people. And for riders on the go, we're going to offer an Android app, an iPhone app. Uh, we actually just released to our clients, Brian, is, Brian is Sullivan and, uh, is one of our clients at NC State University. I haven't even told him this yet, but uh, we released a BlackBerry app as well uh, just, uh, just yesterday. So there will also be a BlackBerry app available for this as well. There will be an enhanced mobile site for use in mobile browsers. So those who have a smartphone can use a, a mobile browser here to, uh, to get uh, information with arrival predictions on where the vehicles are. For non-smartphones, we'll have a streamlined version that will give you a small visual overview of the route, which is pretty abstract, I admit. But if you're a, a daily rider, if you ride this route on a regular basis, you'll, you'll have some good context there. You'll, you'll understand where you are and so forth. And it'll also give you some arrival estimations. In the matter of the phone, riders can get SMS information as well. So you can submit, you know, go live, which will be the, the short code here, and the, the stop number, for instance, and it'll tell you what the, the, the departures for the next routes there at Moore Square. So the final piece of the puzzle that we'll be providing is a public API. And the public API is going to have all the real-time data available in it. And this, this, this is a, a real-time data stream of all the vehicle locations and arrival predictions that developers can use to create new tools to improve transit. So developers already have access to the general transit feeds back to the area, GIS shape files of the routes and bus stops, this summer, we'll add the real-time information. So with this information, developers could, for instance, create a Windows Phone 7 app for transit riders. Or they could create a way to easily access transit schedule information from mobile phones. Or they could write a program so riders could get arrival times from a flash screen monitor inside a local business while they grab a cup of coffee and wait for the bus. On cold afternoons, I'm thinking of the Busy Bee Cafe in downtown Raleigh right here in my stop at the DRF would be quite nice. 